gosh, you guys, look at all this cute washi. The washi tape shop sent me this collection of washi for springtime. Let's make a planner spread with just these. We have Florentina wide washi tape that's gilded. So this will have some foil on it. Vintage botanicals set. So this will have like three or four washi tapes in this collection. Heart to heart washi tape sticker set. So that one's all like Cupid and heart theme. Very cute. Copper fall flowers. Lovely garden. Pretty florals. And sunflower and navy. This one is called Twilight Zone. Okay, I'm gonna open all of these up and I want to try a few different ways of using the washi tape. Oh, this one is so pretty. This one has foil on it too. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Oh yeah, this one has really pretty, oh, I see. This one has copper foil and this one has gold foil. You guys, gorgeous. Okay, I might be confused because these, I thought that the pet tapes were the clear ones and maybe these are, let's see, let's open it and let's see how they actually come out. If they're like, okay, so they're kind of clear. They're like opaque. So this is, to me, it's more like a, a white paper. Anyway, I wanna use at least one from each roll. That's my challenge. Okay, so this one is actually clear. Let's get started. One of the things that I love to do is to create boxes with stickers. So we're gonna take these washi stickers and create a box. So I'm just gonna cut a straight-ish <laughs> edge and I'm just gonna start right in the middle because this is going to be like a different kind of a planner spread than I normally do um, because it's, I'm challenging myself <laughs> to use just this washi collection. So we're gonna make a box sticker. You know, they're mostly florals and it's springtime. So let's just create a little box sticker. We'll just put all these down inside this box, but we'll trim them so that they fit inside the box. You can be more precise if you want to. And so, um, you know, these are kind of clear. I'm gonna call them opaque. So they kind of blend in with the white paper background because they're, they do have like a little bit of a white paper, but they're still kind of clear. Um, anyway, let's make some pretty boxes with these. Okay, we made our first box. I like to balance out the pages with Whatever kind of design I put on the left page, I like to put on the right page. So since we did one that looks like that, I'm gonna use this roll that's very similar and make a box or something on this side. Okay, I'm already obsessed. Look how pretty these are. Okay, we have this one with birds. And we have this one with birds and florals. Honestly, this box sticker thing right here is, a, that is a yes for me. I'm gonna grab that, I want that one. Okay, so this kind is different. It, it peels off, the whole thing peels off so you can kind of trim it to where you want it to go. So I'm gonna trim this, this one. And then I'm gonna trim around it a little bit and we're gonna use this box because it's that one with, that's like the box shape sticker. I'm gonna just kind of trim around it because I want it, I don't know, a little closer. And then we'll put it on the edge somewhere. This is so cool. Okay, look, there, you just peel off the backing and then you can put this wherever you want. Let me find a good spot. Okay, I like it right here because the way that it goes, the bird is sitting that way. And I think this could be like a really cool like header for whatever we're gonna put on this week. Um, so I'm just gonna like try to make it even to that line up there and to where I don't cut the bird off too much. And then I can trim around this part just so my Monday's not covered up. Oops, mushed it a little bit. 
um, but you can still see through it because like it's it's opaque there and then we can trim that edge and that'll be a really cool place to write something in for the week oh wait this isn't okay there now it's stuck on I'm gonna trim this little edge here that's so cool all right let's keep going all right I want to put this little bird kind of like coming out of the side over here Okay, now we have all these floral washies. So let me open these up and see what we're working, see what we're working with. All of these are so pretty. I love these roses and it's really wide. So it's a, enough to cover up a whole box. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a box. Like I'm gonna cut off a section here like this and then make a box I'll just put it down and then trim it um, at the edge of the bo box and make a box with this one since they're opaque they're super easy to just trace the line on your planner it might even be easier if you have like a, um, a ruler or a card edge uh, to follow so that you can trace the whole thing but I don't mind if it's not exactly perfect, so I'm just going to eyeball it like this and just draw on the line on the page. Look how cool! Okay, I love that so much. I'm going to do the same thing with these other washi. And so I'm going to fill in this box, these two boxes, and that box with these. And then we'll go back in with all our little cupids and hearts and decorate with those. Okay, these colors, love. Love these colors. Ah, <gasps> so pretty. This is gonna be so pretty for September sunflowers. Let's place this one going horizontally instead just to change it up. And I love that it fits in the box and it just kind of looks like it's supposed to be that way see what I mean like it just fits in the box perfectly it's so pretty okay let's choose one from each of these four rolls I really love this rose so I think I want that because I love pink roses so this one has a collection of hearts and cherubs and roses I'm going to start with this rose and I think let's layer all of these. I think they're gonna look good layered on our little background um, washi boxes that we made already. Okay, so I feel like I want to put this over here somewhere, maybe here or here or there or there, maybe like right here. All right, let's look for a heart that will coordinate with one of our floral spreads. All right, I kind of like this blue one with our navy and sunflower box over here. And I think I just want to put it somewhere just different, like right here. Oh my gosh, look how cute these are. I love the little like peppermint sticks and the cupcakes. But I think I like that rose with this over here. I think that'll look good there. I'm gonna grab that one. You guys, look at these little cherubs. So cute. All right, this one has some roses too and some hearts. Let's see, will any of these look good in our spread? You know what we could use? One of those are like cutouts. Ooh, I kind of like this. Okay, I know this is a little bit different and these two themes don't really go together, but we're making it happen over here, okay? Get creative. Use things that you wouldn't normally put together to create your spread. Sometimes you will be, sometimes you won't like it and that's okay. Just do something different next week. Sometimes you'll surprise yourself and find something really cool. I'm not sure if the cherubs really work for me. I'm definitely going to use one of these girls from the clear 
so I don't want to have two different characters. So let's use some of the other stickers from this. Like I like this little strip that says love. Maybe we'll put it down here. I kind of like it here. Okay, one more to go. We have this nice big space over here. So I want to choose one of these dolls or girls or characters. Okay, I think we're going to use this girl because she kind of looks like she's out here bird watching. And let me see if this is the kind that peels off. It's like a sticker or if I need to like cut it out. Okay, I cut out our girl and she's going to fit perfectly right here. I kind of want her like that. Like she's checking out our weird planner spread that we did. Weird just because it's not how I normally do a planner spread. But I love trying new things like this. Let's look at it up super close. I love how these squares turned out. They're so pretty. What do you think? Tell me in the comments if you ever make boxes with your washi tape. I love how this turned out. All the details are in the description box, including a coupon code to shop on the washi tape shop. Let me know what you think about this washi tape only planner spread.